So, what we're going to talk about now. I don't really want to talk about Mothman, because I saw something that looked very eerily similar to Mothman out there. Um, I'm not saying that is Mothman, it was standing totally still, but it had two big white eyes on it, or what looked like eyes. I'm going to have to look at the same area tomorrow during the daytime. But every time I zoomed out there, it went out of focus. Every damn time. Is it just this camera? I don't know. This camera has a real problem focusing when you zoom in. It, it just does. It unfocuses the instant you try to zoom in on something. And let me uh, show you what I mean right now. Let me zoom in on the couch. Okay, it's in perfect focus now. When you move around, it unfocuses a little bit. The focus on this... Alright, it's focusing fine on the couch right now. The more I zoom in though... Um... Yeah, it's focusing fine when I zoom in on the couch, so... I don't know, this is weird. Whatever that was, it's making it unfocus? Now that's not Mothman. Mothman doesn't look like that, alright? Whatever that is, it was a strange anomaly, at, if anything. It was totally, standing totally still, and it seemed like the lights were coming from it. A drone? I'm thinking it might be a drone, but it looked like it was attached to a tree. Did someone stick some kind of surveillance equipment on a tree nearby? I don't know. I don't know what it is. I can't tell you right now. Um, it, it's weird, but I was going to talk about something else. But I got sidetracked, so let's quit this and talk about something else for three minutes. So, what are we going to talk about for three minutes here? Alien abduction stories. For years, I used to think that um, the alien abduction stories were true and people were abducted by aliens and there were experiments going on. I used to believe that for years. Until I read the Mothman prophecies and read about... Um, what is it called? Um, hypnotic trances? John Keel discovered that um, there were CIA experiments with hypnotic trances down in the 1960s. And in these experiments, they figured out, the CIA figured out that flashing a light at your brain's alpha frequency, whatever that is, that's different on each people, in, in different people, obviously, that will put the person into a hypnotic trance where they'll start to hallucinate. And he was seeing a lot of weird flashes of light in UFO reports. People will see the flash of light and then be frozen because they're being, they're hallucinating and not knowing it and they all of a sudden see the UFO. All right, now the UFO is their mind making it up. If they see the actual craft, it's not real. What's really happening is nobody knows what's really happening because it's all hallucinatory. All um, hallucinogenic, whatever you want to call it. It's, it's all hallucination based. So nobody knows what's really happening to these people. So I concocted a very bizarre theory that's been corroborated by another claim in the Mothman Prophecies uh, book topic. My theory is that we're not being abducted. Us abductees. I'm not one of them. Okay, so why did I say us? Okay, the, ab the abductees. The abductees are not being abducted by aliens. They're part of secret government abductions. In this would make sense since the CIA like kind of discovered how to make you hallucinate to get you to think that it's a UFO or an alien ship when it's fact a government helicopter. And it would make sense because the lights that abduct people don't behave like UFOs a lot of times. They move too slowly. But sometimes they all of a sudden jolt to your position and that could just be a hallucination for all we know. This might not explain every single abduction case. But it, it helps to explain it. And, you know, what's the corrob corroboration with the Mothman prophecies? Some guy is a man in black guy, and he put together a website, okay? I forget this guy's name. He had a military name. And he said the government were doing experiments in Point Pleasant, West Virginia, with EMP fields to see how they would make people react in that sleepy town. And it attracted something supernatural, something that they were working with. They had an allegiance with some supernatural supernatural entities of some sort. That's the claim. Now, I don't know if I believe that thing, but it, leads, it lends credence to the government abduction theory, which is this is something I'm starting to believe that these aren't the work of aliens, these abductions. These are the work of government tests of some sort. Our government would be doing this. Don't put it past them. Don't experiment with people. That's just my theory on alien abductions, and it happens to be corroborated by stuff like this a little bit at least. 
So, yeah, I wanted to go quickly into my opinions on alien abductions quickly with this one little segment.